Hello, it's Tuesday, uh, April the 19th, and we're in uh, Revelation 21 and the first five verses of uh, Revelation 22. And what we have here in the depiction of the new heavens and new earth, the ultimate goal of redemption, uh, are three pictures, and we will look at them consecutively uh, this week. First of all, a new city, and secondly, a new temple, and thirdly, a new world order. So first of all, a new city in which the people of God uh, will live. And there are several features uh, of this city. First of all, uh, the physicality uh, of it. And in verse 16, uh, gives us the proportions, the, the measurements of this city. It talks about 12,000 stadia uh, in length. That's 1,400 miles. This city is a cube. That's the size of Australia, but in 3D. And of course, that, that can't possibly be meant to be taken literally. Uh, this is a figure of speech. It's a, it's a massive city. He's playing, a, of course, once again with numbers, uh, the number 12, the 12 tribes, the 12 apostles, uh, and, and a thousand, that's 10 by, uh, to the power of three, and, and so on. So uh, he's, he's talking about um, the, the vastness of this city, the city of God. Also in verse 17, uh, the, the walls of the city are 200 feet thick, 144 cubits. And again, 144 is just a number. Uh, as John uh, plays with these numbers, it's a vast and, and powerful uh, and uh, secure uh, city. Notice in verse 2 its beauty. So beautiful as a bride adorned for her wedding day. And uh, one of the great joys of being a minister is uh, being able to watch and, and, and see brides coming down the aisle, glancing every now and then at the groom, uh, who's probably tearful as he views her uh, in all her majesty and, and beauty. And foundation stones uh, and, and 12 gates, and each gate is a massive, exquisite, single pearl. And again, this is, this is uh, uh, apocalyptic language uh, expressing something uh, of the new city. Uh, the destiny of this bride, uh, she is dressed, of course, for her husband, and this is the first time since the fall of Adam that God uh, can now conduct this uh, wedding. And there's one more thing here I want us to see about this new city, uh, and it's the main thing. The city shines with the glory of God. You see there in verse 11, uh, in, and also verses 22 uh, and 23, and also in verse 5 of chapter 22. The significance, the majesty, the splendor, the weight of this great city is the glory of God. It's all about Him. Well, we'll take another look at this uh, passage tomorrow, but for now, have a wonderful day.